back to the renal corpuscle. Uh, I wanted to discuss the two layers of the Bowman's capsule. So you know the Bowman's capsule, we already said it's out here. Yes, that's true. However, that's only one layer. This outside layer that wraps around the whole thing is called the parietal layer. And it consists of, as you can see here, simple squamous cells. Now, the second layer is actually directly on the capillaries, directly on the glomerulus. So do you see the gray? All of this gray stuff represents the visceral layer of the Bowman's capsule. So there are actually two layers, parietal, visceral, gray layer. Now on this visceral layer, you also have these blue dots, the little leg extensions. They represent podocytes, podocytes. Podocytes have little foot extensions that um, what, what they're doing here is they are preventing large substances, certain substances from leaving the blood and entering the Bowman's capsule. Thus, it only allows certain products to leave. This is what you call filtration, okay, which we had talked about way back when we were doing initial tissue slides, and you said filtration happened here. Well, this is it, okay? Filtering the blood of just certain products, waste products. Now, um, okay, so you have your two layers down, and you've got, if they point here, and it says what type of cell is this, that's podocyte. If it points to the gray, though, then we're talking layers. Visceral layer of the Bowman's capsule, this one, parietal layer of Bowman's capsule. Now, let's look at this model. This also shows you a nephron with some vascular anatomy that we'll go through in a moment. But let's first identify the parts of the nephron. This main part is the uh, renal corpuscle, which contains Bowman's capsule inside glomerulus. Then it connects to this tube, the proximal convoluted tubule. This is the descending limb of Henle, uh, loop of Henle, the ascending limb of the loop of Henle. Then distal convoluted tubule until it gets here, collecting duct. And then you'll be at the renal papilla uh, of uh, ready to go into the minor calyx next. Blood supply here. Let's start down here. Now, if you get your bearings and remember this slide, the renal corpuscle is in the cortex. This was the capsule. This is the cortex area. This is also the cortex area. The loop of Henle dipped down into the medulla, which was here to here. Here would be the medulla. Now, keep in mind your blood vessels. That makes these vessels the arcuates. That's what you're looking at here. These are the arcuate, arcuate artery, arcuate vein. What branches up from the arcuate? There are cortical radiates, cortical radiate artery, cortical radiate vein. Now, let's follow that cortical radiate, and now you can really see where we couldn't see here. This is the afferent arterial, goes into the renal corpuscle, and then coming out, efferent arterial. The final two things that we did not yet discuss, because we could not see them very clearly on any other model, were the paratubular capillaries and the vasa recta. So this mass of capillaries, the blood, the red lines, all in this area, they represent the paratubular capillaries. That is what this is representing on this model too, though, I should say. This little cross work, that's paratubular capillaries. The vasa recta is when it follows along the loop of Henle. So it's the big, long capillary loop. This is vasa recta, okay? Vasa recta, loop of Henle, paratubular, the rest. So um, those are the uh, additional circulatory structures that you're gonna need.